Registration to get into the event is required. How many of you have registered for you and your family members? Okay, so there may be some others that need to register. Now, here's what's, here's what's happening. The SEND event is not like other events that we've done over the years. If you've been here for one thing, it's not like one thing. We're not going to give out wristbands here at church because we've already registered you. You have to register yourself. This is a different animal, and we're participating in that event that's coming up, but you will need a plan. Look at a special note. Laura Hackett Park and Jay Thomas are leading the first session in the stadium together at 930. Man, this is gonna be awesome. And so if you're able to get there, and there's some hurdles to get over there to get there early, but if you're able to get there, it would be just awesome to celebrate our IHOPKC worship teams as they kick off the SEND event. So just make note of that. There's links on how to register, and I think we have all the serving ushers and all that stuff that we need. So shout out to the amazing ralliers and participants that have signed up for that. It's amazing. Go to page two. Go to page two. Now, if you tune me out for the next five minutes, that's totally fine, but I need you to hear an important uh, point from this. You need a plan predetermined before you go to the SEND event. Don't show up without a plan because we've done big events over the years, and if you've lived here for a little bit of time, you've come to big events and that type of thing. This is not what it seems. You need some planning. You need some strategy. Look at this. Families with children, this event that's hosted at Arrowhead is not run by all of the SEND team, meaning they're not at the check-in gates. They're not doing security. They're not selling you hamburgers and hot dogs and those helmets filled with nacho cheese. That's not happening. Guess who's doing that? The stadium staff is doing that. So there's no perks. There's no advantage from being from IHOP. You can show up and be like, hey, I'm a forerunner church. And they're going to be like, and? And so that doesn't work there. Hey, just let me sneak in with my kids because we didn't register online. But, you know, we know Mike Bickle. They're going to look at you with a blank stare. And they're going to be like, leave the premises now. I don't know what they'll say. But anyways, the point is you can't just show up. You have to have a plan. You've got to be intentional. And you've got a couple weeks to get ready. Look at this, families with children, it is realistic that you would only do a portion of this whole event. It's a long event. It's probably gonna be hot. And we want you to know, especially families with children, but others as well, folks that are older in their senior well-aged years. If you're only there for a couple hours and you're like, hey, I gotta head out, nobody's gonna be judging you in their hearts. Like, wow, you know, they're kind of backslidden, I guess. You already believe this stuff. That's why you're here. That's why you moved all the way here to Grandview. Some of you left like Hawaii to come to Grandview. You left California. And we all get it. We're going to look at you and be like, awesome. You know, they came at all. That's amazing. So no guilt, no shame. Come and do a couple hours. The event's going to be streamed online as well. But it's just understood that you believe these promises and that you're awesome. Paragraph B. Parking at the event costs 20 bucks. A lot of people didn't know that. I didn't know that. You also have to purchase your parking pass in advance. I didn't know that. You can't just roll up to the gate and be like, one for parking. They're going to be like, what are you talking about? You have to buy it in advance. That's the important thing that you need to know. There's the link. Paragraph C, this is important. Doors open at 9 a.m. on the day of the event, which is May 14th. We know the doors are opening at nine. Worship, if you remember Jay and Lordly, starts at 9.30. So 30 minutes. Now here's the thing that you're not taking into account. There's a youth group, this is hypothetical. There's a youth group from Indiana. They've driven all night. They are trying to beat you in line so that they're first into the stadium before you. They're looking at you. You've got your kids. You've got, you know, your umbrella stroller like we were just talking about. They don't care that you're there. They're trying to get there before you in every way. They're trying to literally beat you in. This is the premiere of the send, you know, da-da-da-da. 
you need to know and anticipate there to be long lines in order to get into the stadium. Now, their gates are really big, so it might go quickly, but you might be in line, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour. I don't know. People are crazy. They line up at 6 a.m. If you went to one thing back in the day, people would be, it's still dark outside, and people are lined up. Guess where they're from? Indiana. They're youth groups. They're there to beat you to your seat. So you can't just roll in assuming they're going to roll out the red carpet for me. There is no red carpet, okay? There's, it's black carpet. There's no carpet at all. It doesn't exist. I'm trying to help you right now. Okay, look at this. Paragraph D, general admission. When you register, you get the whole stadium open to you. Ah. <sighs> Bad news, you get the whole stadium open to you. People are going to be flooding in, flooding down to the front, getting areas where there's shade because there's limited shade areas. It's probably gonna be hot or it might rain, we don't know. And so they're going to be flooding in to the stadium trying to beat you to whatever area that you're going to. The field, the field passes, now they released a link that said, if you've already registered, you can sit down on the field. That's full. It filled up in like a couple hours. 8,000 people will be on the field. There's gra- that's where the grass is. That's where Mahomes, Mahomes plays and sweats. Now, full disclosure, when we were there the other day, we got down, we smelled the ground. I don't know what we were smelling for. It's awkward to admit, but it happened, okay? Because we were there. It was like a moment. So anyways, now that I got that off my chest, anyways, the field is full. You might be like, oh, bummer. Here's the downside to the field. No chairs. There are no chairs. You can't bring a lawn chair. They're not going to let you bring a lawn chair. You can't. There's no chairs on the field. You're going to be standing or sitting in the grass the entire event in this direct sun, no shade. So cool, it's the field. But if you're like me, I want a chair. It's a 12-hour event. I'm sitting in a chair, part of it. You know, whatever. I got a bum leg. Okay, let's keep going here. Paragraph E There's no re-entry into the stadium on your ticket if you leave and go out the gates. So halfway through, you're like, let's just go grab some Taco Bell and then come back in. Not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. You're not gonna trick the ticketing agent guys at the door. Why? They don't care if you're there or not. They don't care. They get paid the same amount, whether they let people in or keep people out. It's all the same, okay? So you can't do that. Paragraph F, big one. There's no cash accepted in the stadium. They don't like the green river. They're they're not about the greenbacks, okay? They're about plastic, cards, Apple Pay, technology. Some of you are shaking right now. Yes. You can't bring cash into the stadium. Well, you can bring cash, but it's not going to do anything for you. Paragraph G, on the stadium website, there's a list of prohibited and permitted items. Things like strollers are not permitted, That's a big bummer if you've got one of those triple, double wide. We had those, like those jogger strollers, okay? You're trying to roll in with that. You're running two coolers deep. You've got ham sandwiches, quinoa salad, and Capri Suns to feed 10,000. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to tell you to go put it back somewhere else. They don't care how far away you parked. They don't care how hot it is outside. They're not going to let you in. You need a plan. Look at this. Paragraph number two. No bags are allowed. You can't bring in a backpack. You can't bring in your cinch bag with a cool, like, you know, hologram cross on it that you got at youth camp. It doesn't work. They're not going to let it in. They only let one kind of bag in, a boring, clear zip bag. Okay, look at this. Gallon zip bags. You can search Amazon for NFL-approved plastic bags. They have the dimensions listed. If your bag's bigger than that, they might, you, you have to take this out. That's, that's a bummer. That's a major bummer. So you need to plan ahead. I ordered our bags this morning on Amazon. Thank you. I'm giving one to mom and dad. Okay. Number four, there's some recommended things that you should bring because we care about you. Number, uh, look down at paragraph H, food. This is big. This is huge. All food and beverage is prohibited at the stadium. You didn't know that. I didn't know that. I started shaking, quivering when I found this out. 
I was planning on rolling in on some cliff bars and, you know, a tossed salad, and it's not going to happen. They're not going to let me do that. You can bring in a factory-sealed 20-ounce water bottle and a baby bottle for your baby. I think I'm going to get a big adult-sized bottle and fill it with Gatorade and see if they'll let me sneak that in. That's not going to happen either. Okay. (laughs) Food and beverage is prohibited. Look at this. Number two, food for sale. It's not conference Christian prices. It's NFL food prices. A cheeseburger costs $13 and you're first born. It's not going to happen. You got to plan ahead for this. To feed a family of seven, you better start saving now. I'm being dead serious because you're not bringing in food and you got to buy food while you're there. And they're like, what do you want? We're like, well, I, you know, I want the day and night priest order with the discount from IHOP KC. They're like, what do you, what in the world? Security. Hey, come here. Get this guy out of here. I don't know what's going on. He's holding up my line. You can only order their food at their prices. So you got to be prepared for that. Now, here's what I would do. Here's what I would do. Are you ready for this? You're ready. Here's what I would do. I don't have this on the handout because I don't want to be held to account with this and like get sued. If I were a mom, which I'm not, if I were a mom, I would get about eight little baggies of snacks for my kids, all right, eight of them, and with like the sliced apples and those like little pu- toddler puffs, you know what I'm saying? Like you think those are for kids, but you're like eating them like they're delicious. <laughs> Anyways, I would get like eight of those bags. I would fill them up, and I would hide them everywhere on my person. I would put them in the clear tote bag in the bottom. I'm putting it under my toddler's butt. I'm putting two in my pockets. I'm putting two in my back pocket. I'm putting two in my armpits. Everybody's coming in. They've got their factory sealed water bottle. Everybody's walking like this because they have so much food hidden on their person. Because here's the thing. I expect them to find two, three, four of the bags, confiscate them, scold me like TSA or something. Like, how dare you? You know, whatever. They ain't going to find them all, baby. (laughs) I'm getting in there with some snaggy snacks, okay? Now, here's the thing. Now, some of you might be like, how dare you? How dare you break their rules? Look, it's the spirit of the law. I'm not bringing in drugs. I'm bringing in apples. Nothing bad is going to happen with apples. My two-year-old, They only eat apples. They're not going to eat a chili cheese dog and a Patrick Mahomes helmet filled with nachos. They're not going to eat that. So I got to bring in some snacks. I've been to a few NFL games and a few, you know, Major League Baseball games or whatever, and they don't find everything. I'm just being totally honest with you guys right now. And don't act like you don't do it at the movie theater anyway. They're like, sir, would you like some drinks on the way in? You're like, I'm good. Your whole body's crinkling like a Cheeto bag. They know what you have. You know what you have. Okay? So just get off your high horse. (laughs) All right. Hey, we're just having fun out here with the folk this morning. You know what I'm saying? All right, look at this. Optional. We got... Stadium maps down here, upper deck, lower deck. Here's the stage. Here's where it's going to be. And you can't sit behind it or probably next to it. So it's everything else on that side ish. It's not scientific. So don't, you know, come after me. But the point is this you should make a plan to sit with people you know. Like, Text your friend, tell them, the family, the other mom, the, the, your friendship group, whatever. Be like, hey, let's meet together at section 134. I'm just making that up. Let's meet at section 135. It's general admission anyway. And we'll just meet there and try and sit together to do the event together. But there's not going to be like a, a whole reserve section for like Forerunner Church or IHOP or prayer movement. There's not gonna like a big section like people that pray. That's not, that doesn't exist there. Okay, so make a plan. Make a rally point. Have like a little meeting area. This, this just came to me. Have like a little meeting area for your kids if people get separated. Or you and your spouse, like we're going to meet at the T-Mobile gate or something like that where you can have a rally point for friends or family or whatever. But the big point is you need a plan. Morgan, help us.
Spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. This is medicine. (laughs) Well, this is just a real thing with real dynamics. And as I started looking and our team started looking at what it means to go into the stadium, we're like, this is hard. Well, it's not impossible. It's just more challenging without a plan. So you got to have a plan. No, this is good. This is super helpful. I think a couple other helpful things, knowing that if it rains, you can bring an umbrella, but guess what? You can't actually open the umbrella. One of the weirdest rules I've ever had. Sure, you could bring an umbrella. You just can't open that can't joker. Open. <laughs> All right. So maybe bring a poncho instead of an umbrella if it's going to be raining. You can bring a blanket with you. So if you have small kids, you could bring like a small, you know, little blanket and have them lay on the ground. They're going to need a nap at some point or if they need to play with their toys. You know, stadiums aren't really clean. So moms with little kids, you know, bring a blanket and let the kids like play on the floor. I love the idea of gathering with friends or a couple people. You can team up, team up. You can trade off. You can say, hey, take my kids for the next hour. Or can you keep an eye on them? Like I want to engage in this part of the service and then trade off. Say, I'll take your kids for the next hour and I'll go take them Here's around for a walk. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, babe, I'll be right back. And I'm going to go down to the front and I'm going to act like I get slain in the spirit <laughs> so that your shift is two hours, but my shift's only one hour. Is that a good plan? You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> I'll find another friend. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, we're done. Thank you for listening to this extended announcement. We hope that you've been blessed, challenged, mildly offended.